team, welcome back to another edition of Total Max Fitness TV. So today we're going to talk all about lower back pain, and specifically lower back pain that stems from very tight hamstrings. Now if you're a person who happens to be very active, or maybe you're a person who's underactive and you suffer from very tight hamstrings, it could be possible that you are also experiencing very, uh, like a lot of uh, lower back pain, especially at the lower part from the hips. What you may not know is that your hamstrings actually attach to the lower part of your back. So if your hamstrings are tight, they're actually going to start to pull on the lower back, causing a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain, which is the reason why today we're going to talk all about alleviating that pain with a really easy stretch. And all you're going to need is just one piece of equipment. Now if you have a yoga block, great. If you don't, that's okay. We have something else for you. So what you're going to need is maybe just a really thick book if you happen to be at home. This would be uh, very, very multi-purpose, of course, like hello, Harry. Potter's going to be um, helping us out today. So essentially what you're going to do is just place the books or the yoga block so it's down to the floor. So go down to the floor just like this, making sure to remove your feet, or move your feet, remove your shoes so that you are barefoot. And uh, you're going to place one foot so it goes on top of either your yoga block or a very thick book, just essentially so you have one foot that's elevated and then one foot that's down to the floor. So the foot that's down to the floor, you want it to be just adjacent to the foot that's elevated, and you want to make sure the foot that's on the floor is completely down to the floor. So try not to lift into the heel or um, bend the knee too much. You actually want a nice extended leg on this one. So you're going to take a large inhale in, and as you exhale, you're going to forward fold, reach down for the toes. Now almost immediately, you're going to feel a great stretch that goes all the way down the leg that happens to be extended down to the floor. The leg that's going to be elevated should have a natural bend in it, so try not to extend the leg, not quite yet. We're going to get there. We're going to let gravity sort of do its thing. You're going to let the head hang. Shoulders are going to be nice and relaxed. And you're going to feel that great stretch behind the leg that should be extended down to the floor. Now, from here, you want to take a large inhale in from your nose, allowing your belly button to go in towards your spine. As you exhale, the leg that's on top of the book that is elevated, you want to try to extend that leg maybe two or three inches, just enough so you can actually feel that great stretch that goes behind the leg that's elevated. Never go too far, so if it feels like you have sharp pain or anything like that, just simply stop. That's basically your body telling you that it's reached a stopping point. Take another large inhale in. As you exhale, see if you can challenge yourself and maybe start to extend that leg just an even a bit more. And you're going to feel a really great stretch that goes right to the belly of the hamstring. Again, you're just going to let gravity sort of do its thing. From here, you essentially just want to walk your hands so they go outside of the foot that's elevated. You're going to be pushing on the back pocket of the leg that is elevated, or not elevated, down to the floor. So you're going to feel a nice little stretch that kind of goes from the outside of the hip and the inside of the hip. So we're hitting a different part of the hamstring. Again, we're letting gravity sort of do its thing. We have one, maybe two, or even three breaths here. And that's enough so you can actually feel that beautiful stretch. Then you're going to walk over to the other side of the foot, the leg that's down to the floor, and once again you're going to start to feel that stretch that goes out to the back pocket of the leg that's elevated. So you might feel it on the outside or inside just depending on where you feel the most uh, tension as far as your inner or outer thigh. From here, once again, we're going to go back into the center, softening both knees this time. So you have both knees are going to be bent, slowly start to roll all the way up, and then you're going to do the exact same thing onto the other side. All in all, it should take you just under about five minutes to make sure that you complete this exercise. If you're a person who suffers from a lot of hamstring strain, or if you have very, very tight hamstrings, I recommend doing this exercise every single night before you go to bed, also after you do some sort of intense exercise, or squatting, or running, or anything like that. This is going to feel so much better. You're going to start to feel a lot of pain, start to dissipate from your lower back, and maybe your hamstrings are going to be happy with you. Okay, give that one a try, let me know how it goes, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Oh, 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 oh,